What else did the report find? Yeah, this is an interim report of a, of a government uh, joint standing committee. So it also called for a freeze on all new mining applications in that area. Now, there's a very controversial section of the law in Western Australia that gives companies with mining rights permission to damage a site, even if it does have cultural significance. So there's also a call for that law to be replaced with something stronger. But this all relates to back in May when Rio blasted in the Dukan Gorge as part of a mine expansion. Uh, they damaged two rock shelters that were in use 46,000 years ago and the report called that blast inexcusable. Uh, Rio knew the value of what they were destroying and blew it up anyway. So there's some other recommendations specific to Rio to carry out a full reconstruction of that site, uh, commit to a permanent moratorium on mining in the area and uh, review its agreements with traditional landowners as well. So, Paul, I know some heads have rolled. Uh, I can imagine that the public uproar is sizable. Uh, what has been the re reaction to these findings? Well, the local Aboriginal groups have welcomed this. They say it's started the process of the healing with Rio, and they hope it prom prompts a fundamental reset of the mining sector as a whole. Of course, these communities are very, very poor, and the mining companies are making billions, especially with the price of iron ore at about $140 a tonne right now. Uh, the Minerals Council is not too happy with this proposed moratorium on the new applications. Uh, they say it's going to stall mining works for other projects uh, for unknown and extended periods of time. Uh, but you're right to point out that it was really shareholder pressure that brought all this about. Activists were not happy with that initial response from Rio Tinto. It eventually led to the resignation of the CEO back in September, and the Australian Centre of Corporate Responsibility says it's thrown a long overdue light on the treatment of Indigenous Australians by mining companies.